Hi guys, welcome back to Strength Sports uh, YouTube channel. Very exciting day today. Not only did we have two of our top juniors just training with, as you see, Kyle Mackay and Finlay Waters, who have given their thoughts on the, or are going to give their thoughts on the on the racket. We have had the privilege to play test the brand new Wilson Shift Frame one day before it's due to be officially released to the public. Now this is a very cool kind of white pearlescent paint job on this frame. I think it looks fantastic. Another nice cosmetic which will sit really nice in the retail environment alongside all Wilson's other frames. Um, obviously the, the specs of this racket are in the, in the bio. Um, pretty heavy, uh, 315 unstrung. Um, probably a little bit too heavy for, for, for myself, um, but I think the boys probably quite enjoyed, enjoyed the weight. Um, 99 square inch head. For me, I was having to. I felt I had to swing pretty fast to generate the pace, and I think this stems pretty much from the 18 by 20 string pattern. I'm used to a much much wider string pattern. However, the control aspect of this racket was excellent. I, I felt I could put the ball pretty much where I wanted. I could let loose. Um, I maybe struggled to create as much spin as I would like, and I also felt that we we strung this today with all your power at 50 at 54. And because of the 18 by 20, I felt it was quite tight. I would probably bring my tension down. So my overall thoughts, very similar to what the boys uh, boys felt. Um, this racket's aimed, I think, at quite a high level player. Um, someone who's looking for quite a lot of control and someone who likes to probably swing through the ball nice and smoothly and isn't worried too much about creating their own spin. Just with this 18 by 20 uh, string pattern, um, it's pretty tough to, to turn the ball. Um, the lighter version of this has got a slightly wider string pattern and I think that would probably suit my game. Just want to welcome Kyle Mackay to the channel. Kyle trains here at Thorn Park with myself. Um, Kyle's just back from playing qualifying ITF at Wimbledon and uh, uh, Roehampton and has had a stellar, stellar 2023. Kyle, we, obviously today we've been testing the, the Wilson shift. What did you think of the racket cosmetically, power, balance? And an overall overall review of the of the frame. Uh, I think the racket looks really good. Uh, the paint job on it's very nice, and you get a lot of control on this. It's great for a player who wants to like just hit through the ball nice and smooth, and get a bit of extra power when they hit the ball. Great. Um, so overall, would you say this racket's aimed at a kind of more recreational player or more like a kind of higher level? Player, uh, you know, tournament type player. Uh, definitely a player who's of a good high level. Who likes a bit of extra power on their shots and uh, wants a bit more help when they're hitting their ground strokes and volleys and stuff. Now, Kyle, I know you use the extreme tour racket, which is set up for for, for sort of spin. How would you compare your own racket to to today's play test with the the Wilson shift? Uh, the head extreme is a bit more. Uh, stiff when you hit the ball and you get a bit more spin whereas this you hit it flatter and a bit easier power so overall it's a very good racket to use and i recommend buying it great kyle thanks for your time today and good luck in all your tournaments coming up over the summer we look forward to seeing how you how you get on and thanks for joining us in the channel today thanks for having me finley great training session today using the new wilson shift 99 pro I just want to ask your thoughts on the racket and give me a quick overview on how the racket performed. Um, yeah, thanks for having me on the channel. Um, it's a really nice looking racket. Uh, it's really clean and looks quite classy. It's not got any crazy designs on it. So I think if you're that type of player that doesn't like something big and shiny in the corner of your eye, it's a really nice cosmetic for that. Um, how did the racket perform overall with power? control spin uh, i would i would say it's a bit like uh wilson ultra type racket but it's a little bit more control a little bit more of like a pro version of that um nice control really nice around the net um quite unusual with a 99 square inch head it's usually maybe a 98 or 100 but um how did you uh, find the 18 by 20 string pattern um quite flat it's quite um, Struggle to create a little yeah, bit of spin. It's, it's quite flat when you're hitting from the back, but uh, I think that maybe makes it a bit better in the net when you're just using it for control, a bit more flat slice type. Shot. So overall, then you think this racket? Where's where's it aimed at? Is it aimed at more of the player market? Somebody who swings fast, somebody um, who swings slow. What what's your thoughts? Probably 
quite a quite an experienced tennis player who likes to swing quite rhythmical, quite slow. I don't think it's the type of racket that you need to swing particularly hard to get the the pace and power out of it, as it's got it's quite a thick um, beam. So uh, definitely good for a bit of power. And if you're swinging nice and rhythmically and slow, um, I think it's the racket for you. Great, thanks, Finley. Good luck in your tournaments over the next couple of weeks. Good luck at County Week and all your other events. And have a great summer. Thank you. Um, once again, guys, really thanks for all your all you subscribers. Give us a quick bash on the like button, and I hope you enjoy this video. And we'll see you again soon with all the latest products from String Sports. Thanks a lot, guys.